tell me a story about someone who really took advantage of what tall grass Sudbury has to offer, really got value out of what of coming there and taking advantage of the, what you have. I'm going to tell my favorite story. This is actually from quite a few years ago. It was before my time there, but I've heard this story and it just encapsulates what we do so well mm. that it's still the story I like to tell. So we had a student that had gone through our gone through our school pretty much from the time that they were they started kind of we don't really use grades but to say sixth grade age mm -hmm. and went all the way through their their graduation all the way through until they were ready to go out into the world and they they went through and their first their first experience in the professional world was they went and to a local cafe, a local coffee shop, mm. wanted to just kind of work there, get their feet wet and kind of find out what was next for them from mm -hmm. there. And it took this individual about six months to realize I don't want to be out on the floor. Mm. I want to be here, but I want to be back there making the decisions and running the business. And mm. like, I want to do this, but I want to do this as the person in charge. Mm -hmm. I want to run my own business. So they went as soon as that impulse hit them, as soon as they had that, this is what I want, then all of a sudden they had that motivation to go, I'm going to go get into school. Mm -hmm. I, they didn't go directly into college. They had just went and worked and were trying to figure it out. They went into college. And my favorite thing about this is they had to then go to business school, which includes just a ton of math, right? They had not done a single specific math class at our mm. school. They, that was just not an interest of theirs at all. So they had to go in and there was, you know, no problem with getting into school. They mm. got into school, had to do, they did have to do some placement testing to get into the program, take a couple of classes to kind of catch up on those, some of those skills. But because they had the investment now, because they had the right. interest now, they flew through those classes and all of a sudden they're getting a master's in business, not just getting the business degree, but they went right. into graduate school and they immediately were able to get into running their own business and they have their own shop and it is successful. And it was all based on, you know, what we believe in, which is right. when the interest is there, that is when you will do your best learning mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and their path was was taking that time to figure out what do i want instead of you know the opposite that we see so often in other settings where you know it's kind of given to you <laughs> like right. here are your things and well i guess i did good at science so i'm going to go into science mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. this was i made my path and had all of the confidence, which is really what right, I love right. about what we do, to go, oh, this is what I want to do. It's going to take me a little bit more work to get started, but now I, w I know what I want, and I'm fine. I can go do that, and I'm just going to take the ball and run with it. Right. right. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.